Hi, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com. Thank you for joining me today. My tutorial for today is an envelope punch board tutorial where we're going to make these cute little treat pouches. And I've come up with this little belly band, which I think is slightly different than the norm. And we're going to get on and make that today. So let's move those to one side. Oh yes, just forgot to say that when you slide the belly band off, inside are a couple of Elizabeth Shaw mints. So it's just enough to give a little treat to someone, a little thank you, something like that. So let's move these over to one side and get the envelope punch board in. And I've used the Sending Love Designer Series paper stack to make these. I've used quite a lot of this paper now, so I haven't got that much left, but it really has some beautiful patterns and I love them. So we've used those and I've got a piece here which is cut to four by four inches and we're going to score it on the envelope punch board at one and five eighths so line it up at one and five eighths punch and score and then I'm moving it round to the opposite side of where I've just punched to one and five eighths punch and score Turn it round to the next side, 90 degrees, line it up in the punch board and you will notice that you need to line it up with this indicator arrow here. Let me just pull that a little closer so you can see. Now I don't think you can see my line but it goes across there. Should have used the darker paper, shouldn't I, so you could see. But you'll find that when you line that up, on the board it does not line up here the one and five eighths which is why I turn it 90 degrees because then I find that it works perfectly so you're lining this arrow up here punching and scoring down turn it round to the opposite side which is a 180 degree turn line that up again with your arrow marker there punch and score and that's all the scoring done. So now we need to round our corners. So we use the round corner rounder, which is at the top of the board, and just round all our corners off. Nice job. So we don't need that anymore. So let's move that off to one side. Get rid of the bits. And then we're just going to lightly with our bone folder score those lines and I think these are dead cute little treats don't use a lot of paper and you can make loads of them very quickly so I think they're nice right then so I've got my little Elizabeth Shaw mints here and I'm going to use some fast views today because that's quicker a bit on there and a bit on there and Elizabeth Shaw mints go in so that you can press that down and pull that up and try and keep it as square and flush as you can. Pull that up and that is made. That's done. Cute. So let's put that to one side. Now I've got a strip here of real red cardstock and this measures eight and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. And what I have done, fold that over and I've wrapped it round, dead easy this, dead easy, wrap it round until you line it up at the top there, so you've wrapped that round, hold that tight at the top there and pull that up so that the bottom is nice and tight here. Then you lift up this top flap and hold that down and with my fast fuse I run a piece of fuse down the middle and then lay that down on top like that and then what I did was I gave it a, 
a little quirky top like that. So it's dead easy. So that's that part. Now to decorate, let me just bring one in. To decorate, and I've already prepped this up because I have done heat embossing many times on my videos. So I've already prepped up using the one and a half inch punch. I've gold heat embossed the sentiment from Avant Garden. Now I seem to keep using this. I love it so much I really will have to put it away soon because it seems to be dominating most of my projects but I do love it. I really do. It's got sentiments and I just I just think it's fantastic. I love using it. So what I've done I've used the sentiment that says thanks for being you and I've gold heat embossed that and using the little stamens which is for the flowers I prepped that up on a block and I'll show you what I did with that so I'll cut one out using my one and a half inch punch let's move those pieces to one side gold heat emboss that part and then using real red ink I push, put the stamen in the ink. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, not quite like that anyway. Oh. Right, let's just turn that over and pretend that didn't happen. So we've gold heat embossed that, prep that in your ink, and I've got that full strength. So what I did was I put that at the top of the circle and then I went du -du -du -du, like that. Do you see what I mean? Let me bring you in closer just for this. Whoops. Let me just bring you in a bit closer so that you can see what I mean. So into the ink and then I went where you where that stopped, I go boing du -du, like that. So can you see what I mean by that? And then to get that all the way along, I I then, to get the red down here, put red doing doing. I know I'm s saying doing doing, but that's the only way I can describe it. But that is what I've got, that quirky little top. Um, let me just bring one of the treats in so that you can see what I mean by that. And I just thought that that finished it off because I didn't have a flower small enough, but I wanted it to look pretty. Um, and so that's what I've done. Easy peasy. So ink away. And then I used my sweet and sassy, oh, I love saying that, sweet and sassy framelit dies to cut these little hearts out at the top and I used the smallest one there and the next one there and I just do you know I've got ink on me again I think that real red ink must be must have um, got on the side and I'm picking it up so I've used those two to create that. Now I've cut some of them out in real red cardstock and whisper white cardstock, and then I've cut some of them out in the um, in this sending love D DSP. And so today, because I've got the red, I'm going to put white on there, and I'm going to have that little quirky little heart at the top there. So. Let's put that on and let's just move you out slightly again. Right then, so let's put that on. So a tiny bit of glue on there. When it comes out, pick that up. On here, and I do. I just love the way these sassy hearts layer up to just. Oh, I just think they're gorgeous. Right, let's get some dimensionals. So I put a dimensional on on here, 
so that I made sure it was in the middle and not, you know, off to one side, which would have been a disaster. So that's nice. Then we've got our sentiment done. And our sentiment goes on with another dimensional. Like that. And then we've got a little uh, rhinestone. And we're just going to put a little rhinestone on the heart. Oh, look, I'm going to cover my heart up. I can't do that. Put it down there. And then I suppose you could, if you wanted to, put a little rhinestone just there to finish that off. Anyway, that is my tutorial for today. And I think they're rather sweet. Very quickly made. You can make a whole batch and just craft fairs, that sort of thing. Um, give them to your friends, just as a little gift when you go out for a coffee morning, that sort of thing. I think they're lovely and I hope you do too. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you need any project details or, or you need to buy Stampin' Up! products, uh, please click on to artypapercrafters.com. I also have cards as well on my website. So if you would like to subscribe to artypapercrafters.com, then you'll receive all those in your inbox when I post them. So that's all for me today and it's bye for now. Bye.